Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. Now, this is a follow up from episode 1375, where I covered little snitch six in detail. Now, it's a great protection suite for the Mac that really does have a wealth of features to help you monitor connections in and out of Mac OS. And even though the interface has become a lot more user friendly in recent years, Objective Development realized this can be still too much for some people who just want one interface to allow and block traffic and not worry about setting up things like rules and detailed rule groups. And if that's you, then you may well be interested in Little Snitch Mini, a lightweight version of Little Snitch that just allows you to allow and deny traffic for apps and processes, as well as implement block lists. And that's it. And there is also a free version as well that allows you to just view traffic. So let's see it. So first of all, where do we get it from? Well, I'm on the Objective Development website on the Little Snitch Mini product page. And unlike Little Snitch 6, which is a direct download, Little Snitch Mini is on the Mac App Store. And just a note here, which is important for a few minutes time, please note I've got four tabs open here in Safari. So just a note there. Okay, let's just click download. And then what you'll do is you'll just click on get to download as normal. Now I do already have it installed, so I'm just gonna click open. And the Little Snitch Mini window opens. Now there's lots of traffic already moving, of course, in there. I'm just going to come up here and close this Mac App Store window. And there's also a notification up here telling us it's been added as a login item. I can change that later if I wish, but I'm quite happy to have it. So I'll close it for now. Now the big thing to note here is that with the free version, you cannot actually block anything. It's solely there for you to view what is happening. Now I will of course restore my purchase soon, but before that, I just want to show you what is actually available on the free version. So the apps and processes that are connecting are here on the left and I can click and the map moves automatically to show us the geographical locations of those connections. So Mac OS processes we can see are connecting to North America and various places in Europe as well. And Microsoft Teams here, very similar. Then Clean My Mac, not quite as sporadic as the above ones with connections to California and Missouri. Now the key app is at the top level so you can break them open to see the actual addresses that are being contacted. So when we've unlocked the premium version, this would allow us to block connections a lower level. And again, you can break down further here. Now let's open Safari, because if you remember, I had four tabs open earlier. So is this just gonna show those four tabs as processes? Well, of course it won't. In fact, if I click 24 more here, we can see that these are all the links and processes that are running on those sites I had open. And in the most part, they're quite genuine. So for example, at Screencast Online, we use Trustpilot to manage our reviews. And there's a couple of pages on the site that require a direct connection to Trustpilot to automatically update the statistics on our page. So just because there are lots of entries here doesn't mean they're all advertising or malware or doing something nefarious. But that said, some do, of course, have the potential to be. And I'll show you how to spot and block those soon. Anyhow, let's collapse this again. And you can see all of the apps that are currently talking or have been within the last hour. And to the right of the app or process name, there's a little viewer where you can see the actual traffic amounts that have been sent and received within the last hour. Now it is only the hour on the free viewer. You can see that each of these here is only available through the premium version. But we're gonna see those soon. So I'll just click away to remove it. And up here, you can change the time period that the connections below are filtered by. So for free, you can see just the last hour's worth of connections, but the paid version will let you have a much more granular or wide ranging time scale. And of course, the main feature blocking is locked under premium. So let's just click here to see how much we're talking about. And it's not too bad, I think, for what you get. And you do have to weigh it up against the costs of the full Little Snitch 6, which is a one-off purchase, of course. So it's £1.29 per month or £12.49 per year. And you can start a 14 day free trial by clicking the blue button. Now I do have a license key for this though, so I'm gonna pause and just enable it. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. 
you can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the Members Only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.